As previously on Gummy Bell Gamer's Let's Play of Corby and the Forgotten Lands, we see Corby beating the final boss in the ravaged King DDD. Right after beating him, a mysterious elevator appears. Enemies hoard the arena. Corby, DDD, and company flee. But wait, a Waddle D has been left behind. No one left and behind. DDD knows no Waddle D must be left behind. He quickly sprints to go collect. Corby stops the door. King DDD realizes he must make a decision. He sacrifices himself for the life of the Waddle Dee. Oh. And as we continue, Lab Discovera. As you can probably tell, maybe in the noise, it is storming like crazy in the background. Um, as always, thank you for watching. Um, and I uh, hope you enjoy this content. It's going to be okay. Of our science facility, Lab Discovera. What is this like portal? Really sure. You'll be introduced to the ultimate life form, specimen IDF 86. From the moment IDF 86 arrived on our planet, it began a campaign of destruction that threatened the native wildlife of our entire world. Luckily, our research team managed to capture it before it could complete its invasion. Once it was contained, our lab began studying IDF-86's spatial teleportation ability. Research that laid the groundwork for the planetary warp technology we enjoy today. However, 30 years after our research began, a warp experiment incident occurred in this facility. A new life form, separated from the main specimen, escaped in the aftermath. That new subspecimen has yet to be recovered. In the time since, IDF-86 has shown no signs of activity. It is now kept in a state of permanent stasis within the custom-made Eternal Capsule, here on the top level of Lab Discover. And here we are. Let's meet the ultimate life form, Specimen IDF-86. Come on, fight me, you coward. This is kind of funny because I lost the first time, so to not bore you on that loss, here's my second try.
shit. I won. <laughs> Dude, File is so OP in this game. Oh. Those were like three final bosses in a row.
from uh, facing Elphalyn, or how do you pronounce? Oh, Elphalus. So this battle was extremely epic, but I ain't gonna lie. It took me a couple times to beat Elphalus, cause I am dumb. So let's just skip to the one that I won in three, two, one, roll it. Also, quick side note for the zero of y'all in my comment section asking me to do a tier list of the best copy abilities in the game. The answer is the fire one. The residual damage just doesn't compare to anything. Anytime I had trouble with literally anything, residual damage got me through it. Like this battle you're about to watch. I feel better about this one, but not perfect. Okay.
hit. Did I do right? I don't know. Corby's just like, just another day. The power of friendship. Or oh, a big old chuck. Fear not to be controlled. I think that was the B button. I'm guessing I'm not supposed to be doing anything right now. <sighs> oh. That grass is so beautiful. Wait, this is the beginning.
Is that a Zonai Swool? <laughs> oh. <sighs> that cutscene had no business looking that good. All right, I guess I'll take this, you know, one last final opportunity to kind of ramble on about um, the things that I love and the few things that I didn't love about this game. Also, what the heck <laughs> am I doing? Oh my lord, why did I grab the amiibo? Oh my god, and I dropped it! What an idiot! Ah! Uh. So, um, the things that I loved about this game is how, full stop, how beautiful it is. It's absolutely wonderful. I didn't have my Elgato set up for the first couple of episodes, or at least I didn't have it set up correctly. So it was recording in like 540p or something stupid, I don't know, maybe like 720 or something or below that. And uh, this one's crisply, crisply at 1080p, 40 frames per second, and it is amazing. Um, so yeah, just absolutely beautiful. The copy abilities um, are very well implemented. They've always been well implemented in the Corby series, but to my knowledge, this is the first time you can upgrade them, and they completely change throughout all the upgrades, and it's just really wonderful. Um, Lord, oh my Yuki Honda. <laughs> William Okuda. <laughs> I hope I don't do that for the rest of these credits. Um, I do that while watching movies. Um, all of my friends, like Platt, can um, attest to that. Um, detest, attest, I don't know. They can, if we were in the court of law, they could put their hand on the Bible and say, yes, then I do that. But, um, back to the copy abilities. Um, the one gripe about the copy abilities, and I feel like this has always been a thing within all the games, the fire ability gives insane residual damage and it ends up turning out to like if you have problems with any sort of boss because bosses have such high hp oh my gosh what was i doing ah! <laughs> but the bosses have such high hp that the residual damage just really takes care of the battle for you i am having <laughs> such a hard time watching my goofy self go through these credits um but yeah that's kind of you know it's kind of in a way a fun thing to have such an op ability but i don't even think i fully upgraded my fire ability and it just i just waltzed through the game with it and anytime i had any sort of problem just used it that's my one little tiny gripe but outside of that it is absolutely wonderful um yes that was post game I haven't gotten into that but i'm gonna eventually get into that i'll make an episode or two out of it but yeah, just really love this game, really love the opportunity to do my first full Let's Play on my YouTube channel. Um, thank you for all who joined in. The, you know, the few of you that have joined in to watch, uh, I really appreciate every single one of you. Um, trying to make this channel grow, trying to turn this into a thing. Um, it's always been a dream of mine to have a YouTube channel and run away with it. So, uh, this is probably about my fourth step in uh, my opportunity so truly from the bottom of my heart thank you everybody um i'll go ahead and leave you off until next time like comment subscribe all that bull crap that we always normally say am i on my phone in the middle of a recording what the heck Corby and the Forgotten Lands. Corby and the Remembered Lands. That was a terrible joke. Well, that is the Gummy Bear Gamer signing off. End of the episode. That was so cringe and terrible. Oh my gosh. Alright. See you guys. <laughs>